All right, what's going on, everybody? So, I've run out of ideas, right? I haven't made a video in a long time, properly. So what we're gonna do is this absolute gem. This is my plan Z. Random country generator. React to their special forces, whatever comes up. Sounds good? Let's go. So, we're using random country, random.country.com. That's it, random country. Pakistan. I've already done Pakistan. But we're going to do Pakistan again. And maybe we'll find out something different. So let's have a look. Pakistan Special Forces. The Special Service Group. SSG. <laughs> Wikipedia. The, the source of all knowledge. Pakistan Army Special Service Group, or SSG, is the Special Forces Unit of the Pakistan Army. They are also known by the nickname of Maroon Berets, due to their headgear. I wonder who else has got Maroon Berets. Berets. Anyway, formed in 1950, 19th Regiment, Balak Regiment. So what we're going to do is literally the easiest thing possible. Like this. Bang. The Pakistan Army Special Army Special Service Group. I can't even say it, man. Um I want to get some Oh, I'm Drakey and that reacting to it. No voice. I don't want to react to the same one. Official anthem of special services group, Black Stalk. All right, 10 surprising facts about SSG commandos. We're exploring the military of Pakistan, but more specifically, Pakistan's elite special forces unit, the SSG. These guys are no joke. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Leroy Kenton, and you're watching FTD Facts. Hello, so Leroy. let's get into 10 surprising and interesting facts about the SSG. So the first thing, the SSG, or Special Service Group, is the main special operations task force of the Pakistan Army. While the rest of the army is well-trained in regular combat situations, these SSG commandos are skilled in special skills like counterintelligence and covert operations. Hmm. Counterintelligence. So, I, when he said counter, the first thing I thought he was going to say was counter terrorism. Because a lot of special forces around the world, the primary unit, the main unit, is often the one that deals with counter terrorism. So, for example, the SAS, their main units deal with counter terrorism. Why do they not have, or why is this guy not saying that they have a uh, field operational group type setup? So, for example, the uh, British Army's SAS, Special Air Service, have a deployment troop to deal with counterterrorism and uh, clandestine operations, but he's gone straight for um, counterintelligence, which is strange because that would perceive that they are a um, an anxious country, not an anxious country, a um, nervous country and feel that they're being spied on. So if that's their main role of the special force, may, I don't know, I might be wrong. It's the headquarters are at Tarbella Cantonment and it's located in the Harapur district of Pakistan. It's headed by a major general and divided into eight battalions. Each battalion has 700 men in four companies. Can I just say that uh, any special forces with Gucci videos of them doing operations are probably not that good? You try finding actual operational clips, yes, yes with each company split into platoons and then into 10-man teams. Each battalion is commanded by a lieutenant colonel. Now the earlier thought process of hiring recruits was to spend as little time as possible training them. This is because in the early days after getting independence from the British, Pakistan really lacked certain resources and they had to do the best with what they had at the time. The SSG was Love first called the 19th Ballad and was created in 1956 after combining 
joining the 7th and 10th Balach regiments and the 312 garrison. Oh, that's the Balach or whatever we just saw a minute ago. Balach, whatever he, the Americans. Company. The SSG's initial training and orientation regarding tactics was based on the US Special Forces program, with whom they cooperated closely with in the Cold War years. The SSG nice. initially had six companies, and each company had specialization units specialized in desert, mountain, ranger, and underwater warfare. And later on, Chinese training, tactics, weapons, and equipment. Chinese training, weapons, and tactics. But he just said US spe Special Forces tra training were also introduced. Now the SSG used guerrilla tactics to fight off their enemies and use the element of surprise whenever and wherever they could. The special operations that they take part in require the fighters to be very still and very stealthy. Their first major deployment came during the Indo-Pak War of 1965 and by the year 1971 the SSG had grown to three battalions with one permanently state. The program has evolved over the years where it incorporates many new elements of modern warfare, but some things have remained the same. The SSG officers must have at least two years of prior military experience and volunteer from other- It looks like, and I'm sorry to say it, it looks like the ISIS propaganda videos that they were putting out. Do you remember when they were at their peak and obviously a, a um, horrible organization regardless of who you think you are, horrible organization, but they had some really good propaganda stuff that they were releasing. They had a lot of money spent on it. Formations for two-year assignments with the SSG. Non-commissioned officers and enlisted men volunteer. Hang on a sec. All right. There we go. All right. So the boys are repelling. It even says fast rope there. And it has, says abseiling point there. Oh, okay. I understand. So these boys are abseiling back. These these guys here, left and right, have these boomsticks, and what they'll do is they'll put the stick over the window and it detonate a charge so they can enter the room. G. Non-commissioned officers and enlisted men volunteer from other formations to serve permanently in the SSG. All trainees must participate in a nine-month SSG course at Chirat, and physical training includes nine months. All right, so. Uh, a lot of foreign special forces seem to just do like a few week courses and then suddenly they're uh, qualified. But look, SSG commandos. So um, they'll have a commando element, which is a, uh, a seaworthy course, um, as well as special combat. So it's doing a 36 mile march in 24 hours. Training with the same people and the same instructor miles can. In 24 hours against the raw marines 30 miles in 10 hours eh? get really tedious and also put you in danger of being obsolete since the rest of the world is advancing with new training methods so it's important that soldiers interact with other countries and also learn their ways of training this is also a good way to keep the enemy tactics in mind ssg conducts biannual exercises with the turkish special forces which have been designated as the ataturk series and during the 1980s and into the 1990s the ssg held many similar training exercises with the U.S. Special Forces. Now I'm going to briefly talk about the SS. Interoperability with different countries is absolutely key. And as he said there, it keeps you ahead of your game. You see what your allies are doing. You develop your own training and tactics and skills, as well as developing your guys' uh, ability to work with others. Because in a Special Forces environment, not that I'm ex-Special Forces, but in a Special Forces environment, you have to work with what you've got and who you've got. SSGN. Now, these guys were actually created after the SSG army, after the Indo-Pakistan. Uh, yeah, so that's what I was saying about how there's different, like, sort of branches that do different roles. So SSGN, uh, it's going to be the naval variant. And war in 1965, the Pakistani Navy, under the advice of the US Navy, decided to create its own special warfare unit. The SSGN was born in 1966. And by the year 1967, the United States had finally lifted the embargo on Pakistan, therefore allowing the United States 
States Navy SEALs to provide their training and operational techniques to the SSGN. And speaking of the SSGN, the current SSGN headquarters are in Karachi, Sindh, and they were modeled after the American Navy SEALs and the British Special Boat Services, or the SBS. Because okay. US SEALs had supervisor training, the training of the SSGN is one of the toughest training programs in the entire world. Did not the dropout that. rate for the SSGN is 80 to 90 percent. Now, getting back to the SSG Army, so let's take a look at their uniforms. They're really distinguished by the insignia and the maroon berets with a. Right, so they've got the old British DPM smocks and shirts on, right? With a dress, um, with like a barrack dress shirt underneath, and a. I can't remember what the. the um, is it a cravette thing that they're wearing under under their necks? It's like the same as what the paras wear, but they wear like a, I don't know, like a mesh type one, with dress trousers and boots. Whenever I had witnessed or approached or saw a special forces soldier in real life, um, they looked the scruffiest bastards I've ever met. And if you can appreciate what I'm saying, and you know what I'm saying, you will agree with me that they are not what you think. In terms of like, especially the British Special Forces, like they're, they're never what you expect them to look like. But these guys doing the song and dance and show in front of everybody, I think, is wrong. The the elite of any nation should not be putting on a song and dance unless they're trying to justify their existence. About, I guess, taxpayers' money. If the national Pakistan. Uh, tax allowance or I don't know what you call it government spending goes on this mysterious special forces they want to see what they're getting for the money usually in poorer countries like North Korea will parade all of its special forces and weapons and stuff showing the whole world what they've got which we may or may not be laughing at them but you don't want to put it on show when they're meant to be your elite special forces secret you know silver metal tab on a light blue felt square with a dagger and lightning bolts. There's also a wing on the right side of the chest and the combat uniform of the SSG is similar to the US woodland pattern camouflage. Is that actual SSG members? Because they look chippy as fuck coat and pants. Initially, the SSG were popular for their green berets with Balich insignia back in the 1950s. But the SSG, they dropped their green berets and adopted the Balich regiment's maroon berets. And the final thing I want to share about the SSG is that the SSG had been listed as the best special forces group ahead of the United States Navy SEALs and the British Special Air Service group. No, now, this no list way. was done by Business Insider Australia back in the the SSG are not better than the SAS and or the US Navy SEALs. SSG Subspecial Forces. If they're modeled after others, they're clearly not the best fucking special forces, are they? Marcos. Marine commandos trained in Halo and Hato. Alright, I, I didn't. Pakistan. Number two. National GIGN there, pretty good. US Special Forces. Say it, Matt. Say it, Matt. Matt Cow. Say it, Matt Cow. Joint uh, JTF to Canada. What the fuck is that helmet? Looks like a weird vertus type thing. SCS number seven. No way. Navy SEALs, GIS, it Alpha Group, Russia. I don't believe that the SSG would be second or top special forces. In the year 2015, and it ranked them as the best of nine top elite forces in the entire world. Now, there may not necessarily be any real bearing to this ranking. However, the SSG still has a lot of things going on for them that make them a very powerful force to contend with. This is also something that makes Pakistanis very proud. So that's all the facts I have for you about the SSG. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'm showing you somebody else's video here at this point i just <sighs> yes they are obviously very good at what they do um yes they're probably a very dependable special forces unit yes i'm sure they've got some very good training in that but 
I just wouldn't place them above British Special Forces or US Special Forces or any other Special Forces. What do you think? Stick it down in the comments below. Do you want more videos like this where we can talk about um, different Special Forces units from around the world? I'll do another one. I'll do another random country generator and we'll see what we get. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.